Destiny 2 hype is here. The game has been out. People are grinding on the new storyline, enjoying Destiny 2. So, is the game worth playing for those who are new? Um, obviously, people who played it before are going to tell you the game is worth playing regardless. You know what I'm saying? It's Destiny. It's Bungie. The hype factor is there. Everybody knows this game. Everybody knows the history of it and how amazing it is and what the problems were that they claimed to fix and all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? If you're a veteran player. But what about if, let's say, I'm just a brand new player and I've never touched Destiny? Is this game for you? Um, I honestly think, from since I can say I'm in that standpoint, you know what I'm saying? I played Destiny 1, but I didn't play it enough to be considered a Destiny player. I, I didn't go deep into the end game. I, I, I barely played any of the PvP. I played just enough to get an idea of the game. And it was still an amazing game, without a doubt. Um, maybe not necessarily perfectly my, my sip of tea at the time, but it is still an amazing game. But Destiny 2, I've been playing it for about uh, two or three days now straight. You know what I'm saying? Dipping in and out of it. And I can say the game is clean, yo. Without a doubt, I'm not going to lie. Everybody who was hyped over it, this isn't one of the games where it's just like, oh my God, the, they overhyped it. No, Destiny is is something different in terms of, of, of a game. You know what I'm saying? Uh, for the most part, if you're new, you can get a part of the story. They do a, like the craziest job. The cinematics are some of the best cinematics I've ever seen. Only rival by like Blizzard. Um it's, it's, it's like a movie, you know what I'm saying? You feel like you're playing in a movie the entire time, and I think that drives new players to play it, even if they don't really know what's going on. But for the most part, just off the first, the cinematic that I'm playing right here, you can really get a full scope of what's going on and, and why we're fighting and basically setting the story for Destiny 2. So, you don't have to play Destiny 1 to enjoy this. This isn't one of those games where it's like, damn, why would I hop into Part 2 or Part 3 if I haven't even played Part 1? No, I'd recommend it because it is cool. The storyline's pretty cool. I would at least say just play through the story on Destiny 1 just so you can fully understand everything that's going on, but you don't have to. And because the game is so well made in, in regards to storytelling and gameplay itself, I don't think it's a, it's a necessity at all. But for me personally... I enjoyed playing through Destiny 1 and understanding w somewhat what's going on, even if I wasn't a tremendous Destiny player. But, gameplay. So, this is like the most important thing, obviously, for the people who, who have never played. Is it worth playing? Is the, How is the gameplay? The gameplay is the same as Destiny 1. So, if you've watched Destiny 1 gameplay, it's pretty much the same thing with just n nice little ties at the end. You know what I'm saying? They probably fixed some things that they've had issues with in the past and just tied up the loose ends and produce the same type of engine and everything it looks better obviously i mean without a doubt i can by saying both it does look better than destiny one and it's super like i said it's super cinematic you feel like you're like you're playing in a movie like you're, you're a movie character or something it's crazy you feel overpowered you feel like you're just a super badass guardian and it's 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 a really dope feeling for even me as a player who didn't really participate like end game with destiny one um, honestly, my, my only issue with, with destiny would be other than the fact that it's a lot of people, you know, a lot of people don't like hearing this, but it is the same exact game. A lot of players like different changes. And a lot of players don't, I like little tweaks. Um, is, is it a little too much like the first one? I can't really comment on Like I said, I didn't play destiny one enough to feel like I can have that much of a say so, but it, it, it literally feels like a, just an overhaul DLC of destiny one. And if you feel destiny one was a great game for those veteran players, it is, you know, I agree with you. Um, my only issue would be that it's just a little too close. Like, you know, I, I like new features. I wanted to see like new, new like classes or something that that's just it. That's the only thing I can honestly complain about. I, I like new options. You know what I'm saying? I, I chose the three, the Titan, the Hunter and the Warlock. I wanted to have like six options. You know what I'm saying? That's it, which I understand they could possibly bring in with DLC and all that. That's fine. But for a new player, this is completely fresh completely brand new these three new classes that you've never that you've only seen of you probably never played since you never played destiny one you will be able to enjoy it 150 percent i don't care if you don't know who the trap or what the traveler is i don't care if you don't know the names of the characters it doesn't matter just how the game is set up you will be able to get in gun running gun enjoy loot grind and you know get more and more powerful and you feel that you know what i'm saying that's why destiny was such a successful game because you feel the difference and just the anticipation of raids and end game content is just enough to drag you into it. You know what I'm saying? Regardless if you play Destiny 1 or not. So when people 
overhype certain games, you know what I'm saying? It just doesn't it doesn't ever own up to what people think it's going to be. I think for the most part, I mean no game's perfect, you know, feel like honestly no game is perfect. I don't care what developers come together, it will never ever be perfect. But Destiny in its own right is like its own language. It's like it's its own field of play that nobody can, you know, say anything on, you know, everybody accepts it for what it is and they embrace it. So even though Destiny is the same gameplay with the new story, people love that. That's all they want. It's the if it ain't broke, don't fix it mentality. And I think they did a phenomenal job with that. And I'm this is a hundred percent real. This isn't this isn't like sponsor or anything, obviously. Um this is just me being a casual player telling you guys, for those who aren't, you know, never played Destiny, is it worth getting into? If you like shooters, if you like looters, if you like, you know, PvE, if you like, you know, super cinematic, this is literally the game for you. Um, they they always have loads of content. Bungie knows how to do it. You know what I'm saying? Destiny is 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 just a, a sandbox of content when it comes to the, like this kite like this type of gameplay. But you will be like enticed to learn the story. You have to invest yourself in to really really you know get the full experience of it you know you got to know what you're fighting for you got to understand who's the enemy and why they're the enemy it's really cool they have so much like secrets and lore and stuff that's a whole nother level of the game that you would have to get into and that's just my experience as like i said i'm speaking on a casual player terms i found myself enjoying it more when i got into the lore and stuff i'm not saying you have to be a super geek and know the history of what and what i'm just saying when, when when they're talking about the backstory and stuff, listen to it, embrace it, pay attention to your surroundings, and, you know, use your imagination a little bit. And I think that's why it has such a powerful fan base is because Destiny does such a good job telling a story. And with that, that is enough just to bring in all the... If, if you're a PvE person that loves story, Destiny's story is is a game you, you must... A must experience, you know what I'm saying? Um, I've only played it for a little bit, Destiny 2, and I feel, or I already feel like, man, this game is like, it's huge in Spectrum as far as story. Like, I'm like, I'm not even a PvE player. I really like PvP, um, and they offer the Crucible, and the Crucible is really popular back then with Trials and, and whatnot. All that, all those different things, Destiny executes really, really well. I find myself excited, you know, to get overpowered, to get the exotics, to get all the perfect gear and all the per the best guns in the game and i find myself wanting to grind that more and more as i play it so it is a very addicting game regardless um for for a new player you hop right in i don't care if you don't know what's going on you're going to enjoy yourself right off the bat just because of the sheer gameplay and the sheer feeling of playing destiny 2. um i don't know if this is necessarily a review or i don't know if it's necessarily like 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 kind of like like a heads up for those who feel you know i don't have any guidance from a casual player every every review i hear is by somebody who's madly in love with destiny and that out of this no believe it or not i'm not like a destiny fanboy i'm not like like fully in invested into the game where i was like oh my god on launch i have to be here day one no i'm not one of those players like if not i, I would be maxed out gear by now i'm really not like I'm, I'm still in the early stages of the game but as a casual player, it's so fun to just dip in and dip out, even if I don't have to commit. I don't feel like I have to rush and be the highest level with everybody else or I won't enjoy the game. The game itself drags on and makes you feel like like every step you take to be stronger, your personal experience of the game is more fun regardless of what everybody else is doing. Because there's a lot of games out there where people get super overpowered in the beginning and then you don't come in till late and you feel like, what's the point? You know what I'm saying? No, this isn't one of those games and I feel you will be able to enjoy yourself if you apply yourself in the game. Because the game is not just some run in, run out, speed run and get out. No, the game is pretty lengthy. I'm not saying that the like, story is like, like 50 hours or something, but it is something that you, it is a grind game. You know what I'm saying? It's an RNG game. You get drops and there's certain things to worry about and leveling up your skill trees and all this different things. For the people who play Destiny, they know how hard it was to get fully geared up and, and how much time you have to spend grinding out raids and grinding out um, strikes and all that stuff. Um, there's a lot of things you have to invest in to this game. This isn't a game you can you can just you know like play around with and not think that you're gonna not have to grind in order to be the OP. Like you see OP players, uh, yeah, you can casually dip in and dip out as a casual. Like I like basically what I'm doing right now is I'm dipping in and dipping out and I'm enjoying myself without having a rush. You know what I'm saying? The story's fun, the shooting's fun, gameplay's fun. Seeing little 
attribute boosts here and there, it makes you feel good. It makes you feel like you're doing something right in the game. And you honestly feel like if you continue to do this, at some point, you're just going to be super overpowered. You know what I'm saying? But in order to get with these other players who are probably like maxed out level, maxed out gear, you're going to have to put in some time. And you're going to have to play nonstop. You have to go through the story. You have to hit your grinds, hit your dailies, all these different things you have to apply to yourself. So if, if you're that kind of player, you know what I'm saying? If you're that kind of casual player who feels, I can do this if I enjoy the game. Um, based off of my, my grinding skills or like what if, if this is your kind of game where you're grindable, like you like grinding, you like loot drops, you don't you don't mind having to work a little bit. This is a, a game for you. You know what I'm saying? But if you're not really you, let's say you don't really care about the gear. Let's say you don't really care about having to be like the best or not. This is a game you can just casually enjoy um, without a doubt. You don't have to be maxed out level to enjoy this game. Um, there's, like I said, all the enemies are scaled for different events. Uh, it's three man fire teams. Uh, you're going to be able to play with your friends in PVP that's normalized. There's a lot of things that you can do as a casual player and not have to be a hundred and thousand, like a hundred thousand percent invested into every little aspect of the game. Um, my, my only like con I would say like overall, um, is just the fact that a lot of people expect this to be something different than destiny one um they're like oh if it's the same game uh, there's a lot of naysayers out there i'm pretty sure you guys know the type of people i'm talking about where it's like there's a, what's the point in, in buying this game if it's the same as you gotta you gotta you gotta look at it the glass halfway full and gotta understand that their formula is working um their fan base is huge destiny 2 is a, a lengthy game that is going to be split up in chapters as, as much as people don't want it, if that's how it's going to be, they they want to stretch the game out as far as possible. So the content will be stretched out. You're not going to get, uh, you're not you're not going to get all the features that they, that the developers have planned off the bat. You're gonna you're gonna have to wait till some updates. You're gonna have to wait till some DLCs drop. But that's a part of the Destiny journey that a lot of veteran players went through, and they still love the game. And and that's what made Destiny last so long. And it technically, it technically is still going on. I'm pretty sure people are going to still be playing Destiny 1, regardless of Destiny 2 being out. It's it's not a game where people, you know, oh, well, this is done. We could, we could go off to the next one, like a Call of Duty or something. It's something worth playing over and over and over. And it's it ha has a very, very good feeling about repeating certain missions to grind certain things. And I feel Destiny 2 is a game where a casual player can pick up. So... If you want my true, true, like my real advice, you know what I'm saying? Unbiased, not Destiny fanboy, not a Destiny hater either. I say if you are a new player and you're like, is this game worth investing to? I can honestly say you can invest your money and not feel bad about it afterwards. If you know you're a, a story player that likes PvE, if you're that kind of guy or girl, this is a game for you. You will enjoy it without a doubt in my mind and you will enjoy just looking at it just exploring just just visually this game is surreal bro like i almost feel like i'm playing on the scorpio when i'm playing this and and i i've seen a lot of games in my time it almost feels like a pc game they did a crazy job with just everything about the game and i honestly feel it is something worth playing don't let it slip up you know what i'm saying don't let it pass because you you see other people's reviews and you feel like oh well, well people say it's the same game no enjoy it for yourself take whatever advice you can and roll with it and enjoy the game man i'm not, I'm not gonna put too much spoilers of gameplay i just want to let you guys know why i feel it is a good game for new players so at the end of it all destiny 2 is worth buying for those new players and it is playable for the new players regardless of how much experience you have with these kind of games i think itself standalone destiny is an amazing game and it will continue to be an amazing game the more and more stuff they bring to the table from whatever mistakes that they learn from the entire destiny one saga so thank you guys for stopping hopefully i help somebody you know what i'm saying and if it's one that's all that matters you know what i'm saying but thank you guys for stopping bye send me a like i appreciate it drop a comment if you enjoy the game your boy is out